Hey Tro Squad, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are starting off with my skincare routine. Recently, I've been using products from the Tula Skincare Probiotics and Superfoods line, and I do have a 15% off coupon code if you guys want to try out these products or any other products on their website. The coupon code is TROFDOF. So I'm starting by wetting my face and then I'm going to use the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. This removes dirt, impurities, and makeup without stripping your skin. And it gently exfoliates your skin so it reveals radiant skin. I like the fact that the more water you add to it, the more foamy it gets. I love me a nice foamy face wash. It just makes me feel like my face is getting even cleaner. This cleanser also helps maintain skin balance with probiotic extracts. Since I do have on lash extensions, I'm just washing all around my eyes, pretty much everything except for my eyes. And I will be rinsing it off with a towel because I don't wanna just put water all on my face. So I'm using a nice warm towel and I'm wiping all of the cleanser off. And I rinse it a couple of times until the towel is nice and white and clean. And my face feels so clean, but it still feels moisturized. It does and feel like dry and stripped it's like the perfect balance of feeling squeaky clean but also keeping the moisture in now i'm going to use the wake and glow vitamin c brightening kit it's a combination of the vitamin c serum and the brightening moisturizer this is a perfect duo because they both have amazing brightening benefits but they use different ingredients to give you that glow First, I'm adding a triple vitamin C serum. It brightens the look of dull skin and it helps to reduce dark spots, which is one of the areas that I really want to work on. It has lychee, Japanese mandarin, and mango extracts. Then I'm using a Bright Start Vitamin C Antioxidant Brightening Moisturizer. It helps brighten and improve your skin luminosity and it helps uneven skin tone and texture. And I know we all want nice, smooth, clear skin. Oh, you guys, and don't forget to moisturize your neck as well. I, I That's something I need to work on. I went to get a facial, and the esthetician told me that you have to make sure you moisturize your neck because it ages faster than your face. So don't forget that step, y'all. Lastly, I'm adding a hydrating day and night treatment eye balm. It helps to firm and reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and puffiness, and you can use it day or night. And also, you can use it underneath your makeup. Okay, guys, that concludes my simple but effective skincare routine using Tula Skincare. If you guys want to check out any of the products from the Probiotics and Superfoods line, make sure you use my coupon code. Thank you again, Tula, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the rest of the vlog. Good morning, Trope Squad. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a moving day. It is, it's not even 8 o'clock yet because that's when the movers are supposed to come um it is 7 54 and i am tired but i'm excited because it's moving day um yeah so i just gotta since i'm up i'm just gonna start finish packing the kitchen as much as possible this is the worst part like the initial packing is cool but the extra stuff like the random extra stuff that's the that's the worst part but uh while they're here and moving, I'm just gonna be trying to pack as much as possible. But mostly everything is packed anyway. The movers are here, y'all. It's time. They got the truck and everything. I don't really got that much stuff. The last thing I'm packaging up is my coffee machine. I ain't even get no coffee this morning. I thought I was gonna get some. But I've been having so much energy lately. I don't really need it at the moment. Don't mind my my uh cook my outfit. It's so random. I got on a gray shirt, green sweatpants, cause I packed everything. I don't know where anything is at. I was trying to do my last minute wrapping of the dishes, and I have, I gotta clean these. But he gonna give me all this. He's talking about don't no you don't use newspaper, ma'am. Use this. I was like, okay, thank you.
I think they're ready to go. Where are my keys? I think I got my keys in my pocket. The house is empty. I gotta ride over there with them so they can, you know, pack everything, I mean, take everything out. Look how much crap is underneath my bed. I blame the kids. I blame the kids. My uh, brother, they took this, the other, cause y'all remember that long entertainment system? They took most of it, but they didn't want that little last piece cause it was just too long. Cause we elongated it when we got it. But everything's empty. Yes? I'm upstairs. Oh, you're up. Huh? Ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. Here I come. Are you going right? Yes. Okay. So we see you there. Okay, here I come. I gotta clean this. Let me hurry up and go. Boys' room. The boys' room looks so small without their stuff in there. It don't look bigger to me. It looks smaller to me. And I probably I don't know what I'm gonna do with their stuff. But yes, it's time to go. I gotta come back and clean up all this crap. Moving is no fun, but when you hire movers, like my, my family, of course they always offer to help me. But I like hiring movers because they get in and out and they got the equipment and they got the big truck. And I don't got to worry about just the back and forth. Like whenever my stepdaddy and my mama used to help me move, we used to be doing it for hours. Y'all, it is what, what time it came? Eight o'clock? It's nine o'clock. But because they just got the truck. So whenever I move with them, it's like all night, all day thing. So I just pay for convenience. Not like they didn't offer, in case you're wondering while I'm, while I'm moving with movers instead of my family, because this is what I prefer. And y'all know that I'm a weirdo. <laughs> y'all know, I'm very particular. I don't know if you guys know this by now but i am a very particular person and i like things the way that i like them in my comfort zone so that i can just be at peace because i get very you know anxious very quickly so i try to make sure that i do everything to protect my peace oh by the way y'all hmm, last night i freaking broke the garage last night when i was on my way Cause I was like, I was in a rush trying to get ready and stuff. And I wasn't thinking I started backing up the garage. I, I, I thought I put the garage up or I just wasn't thinking about it. I just started backing up. Boom. I hit the garage and it has a dent in it. I tried to uh, make the dent, smoosh out the dent. Do I got my, I got my car. I got my uh, keys. I got, my, I got the keys to the apartment. Okay. I tried to smoosh out the dent. <laughs> It, it, it helped a little bit but now there's like a little space i'll show you guys later there's like a little space underneath it and oh i'm so ashy and like it don't even look like it closed all the way so i don't think i'm getting my deposit back i don't think i'm getting my deposit back damn it and like why would i do that like freaking the day before moving <sighs> i'm already at the apartment where you at I, I left after them I know they don't got no go no special routes unless they went. Oh yeah, GPS be sometimes making them go the other way around. I went straight through, but um yeah, I'm here. <sighs> Y'all, the emotions are starting to kick in. It's like oh my god, so I'm gonna be spending the night at the new place tonight. I need to wash my sheets. I got so much cleaning to do, but I'm gonna go back to the old place. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. That's good because I got to go back clean up that place as much as possible while I got the energy but I need to go eat too but um I just made my um appointment for my TV TV mounting is the the people are called Chuck the TV guy yeah I did that and I was able to schedule it today for tomorrow which is perfect and what else do I have to do just go back and clean up the place and just I guess unpack and clean here um, oh, I came back to the apartment. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I tell y'all. I came back to the apartment yesterday with my mama and Lele and Dalton. And we looked at it. They did fix the little uh, stuff, but it just still, whatever. Well, Hobby Lobby not open today. But I'll probably go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow and um, see if they got that dinosaur stuff. Because they got a lot of dinosaur 
stuff to decorate and i'm trying to think of how i'm gonna do their bathroom because even though it's a guest bathroom i just want it to be their bathroom and make it all kitty and stuff and guests they just don't have to deal with it so i'm trying to see if i'm gonna do i don't think i'm gonna do their bathroom dinosaur but i'm just gonna make it like just really colorful and just nice and appealing for them and maybe i don't know do they have like abc stuff that'd be cute like abc's alphabet stuff in the bathroom I don't know, I need to see. So they already started moving the stuff in. This is my birthday mat, y'all. This is the one just moved. In the room. In your restaurant? Yeah. All right. Okay, y'all, they left. It is 10.30 and I am hungry. I'm about to give y'all a little overview. I told them to put that on there. Shit, did they leave already? Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Why am I getting exposure notifications? It's like my second time. Oh no, that was 32 minutes ago. COVID-19 exposure notifications are available. Ooh. Oh, they're just saying that it's available. Um, do I want that? Your iPhone can tell you if you may have been exposed to COVID-19. How can you tell me that? Your public, maybe I do want that. Louisiana. Wait, why is it saying Louisiana? Because I was just in Louisiana. I'm not in Louisiana. Oh, maybe they think I'm in Louisiana because I was in there. But no. But anyway, I'm about to show y'all what it's looking like right now. All right. So, oh, I told them whatever. He put the other Christmas tree in there, but I'll figure it out. They put the boxes right here. Oh, we got just random things in here i did, wasn't sure if i'm gonna use it or not but i probably will i got this one too so i could probably use that one on the door like i love how i can just see them playing like if i'm in the kitchen i could put like a little door right there and they can play in the room i gotta figure all this out um they might be able to just keep their beds <laughs> save me some money but then i'm like beds only cost like for both of their beds, they're probably like $300. But shoot, that's $300 I keep in my pocket. So I might keep them in their beds. But I'm definitely about to take this off because this looks terrible. I was going to sell this, but then I wasn't because sometimes I do like to come in here and just chill when they plan. I may or may not sell it because I want them to have as much room as possible. That's why I didn't put that white dress in here. I put it in my uh, room. So this is a little crowded, but I'm gonna fix it. This is how the bed looks. I was nervous that it would take up the whole room, but it, it's not too bad. Cause I wasn't sure if I wanted to get a queen, but I think I could just stick with this king. I'm trying to not spend as so much money. I'm trying to just be more mindful. Oh, and then these pictures, I think I'm going to put these in this room since they have the gray. Cause in my living room, it's gone. I'm just going to switch it up make it look totally different so this can go in here and it'll go perfectly with the gray and then i got that mirror that gold mirror can go somewhere in here so my room could be like gray gold and white and that's what it's looking like in here this is my new home this is where i'm spending the night oh my goodness i'm talking about spending the night this one will be from now on we shall see the kids grandparents just called me and they said they want to keep their grandkids for a little long. I said, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> All right, I'm about to clean up this room really quickly. Like in one second. All right, that was fast, huh? I know, I know. Okay, now I got to clear out the rest of this closet. I have some heels up here and that other dress that I got from Lily's closet, some random. Those shoes, they all look dusty. All them shoes look dusty. Um, but anyway, let's clean. I'll be back in another second. All right, the closet is done. No drawers or have anything. Oh, I do have some stuff here I need to take out. But this drawer, it has clothes stuck behind here and I can't reach them. I'm gonna get a hanger or something to try to get them out. But it doesn't close. But I'm done for today, y'all. This took a couple of hours, and I am tired. I am pooped. I'm ready to do something else. Uh, so the living room is looking like the worst part right now. 
is the kitchen. I just have to come back and clean. So I think I'm gonna have to do two more days. Tomorrow's gonna be the day where I take everything out the house, get rid of everything that's extra, finish it up. And then the next day is gonna be the day that I come back and clean uh, upstairs. I don't even feel like going up there, but yes. Let's go, let's get out of here, I'm tired. Hey y'all, ooh, this lighting in this house is nice. They have like built-in lights in the ceiling instead of like regular lights. You see it? It's like a built-in ceiling, like kind of like, like a bathroom light, but they have that. And then those lights that's in the kitchen and in the bathroom, they're like the kind of lights, or, or what are they called? Fluorescent lights, but I don't know if they're fluorescent lights. But they're like that kind. That's what they look like. That's what it is. Y'all see it on the? Can y'all see? Hold on. Wait. I'm pointing over there. Okay. Like up there. Y'all will see. Like in the videos, I'll show y'all. But I just got back home. My hair is looking crazy. I've been out all day, y'all. Like all day long. And I forgot my vlogging camera, so I didn't vlog. Uh, first stop. First place I went to was Ashley Furniture because I wanted to uh, look at the circle table they had. They had a couple cute circle tables the one that i went there to look at was too flimsy it was pretty but it, i just know that it's not solid enough that the, they need a table that's really solid so they won't push it over i saw another one it was solid and like another one but it was a square table and it can definitely fit in this area it's like a gray it was like a gray i'm trying to i don't want to gray the place out or should I do black? Maybe I should do black. I went to Ikea to look for a black circle table, but they didn't have it. So I went to um, Ashley Furniture first, and then I went to Ikea. So let me show you what I got from Ikea. And I went in a couple other places, so I'm going to also do a haul. And I've been out all day, so don't mind my face, don't mind my hair. I was trying on hats. But, um, yeah, the first place I went to was Ikea, and all I got was this. They have a new elephant. The elephant that Terrell has, that he has all the time, is from Ikea. And then this is like a little one. And they have an even smaller one. So I think he'll enjoy it. So my plan is to intro like show him this one, see if he likes it. And then hide the other elephant, the bigger elephant. And see if he'll just want to have this one. Because this one's smaller, it's new. and it's Or maybe I should have just got him a replacement elephant. Because they did have the bigger one. I don't know. Or maybe he'll just have them both. But I got this one oh and i also got it so i can decorate their bed so it can go on his bed like a decor and then treville has a dinosaur their whole room is gonna be dinosaur which y'all know how to real get down he loves his elephant so that's why i got that um i think oh and i got these little hand puppets from ikea the boys love when i do the puppet with mr b that it's like a little puppet that they have so i got the little hand ones and it has the elephant on it it has a mouse a shark i think they'll like it because whenever i do a little put they just think that is the most adorable funny thing ever they just love it but uh yeah after i went to ikea i went to home goods and i didn't really find anything in home goods but some hats no home decor nothing but i got these hats i've been into hats ever since i cut my hair like what a week ago <laughs> i think they look really cute like with this cut so i got this adidas hat this camo, they were both uh, $15, $14.99. So that's what that one looks like. The original price of them is $30, so they're half price. What's up with my camera? tripping. Oh, see, look, that's what my hair looks like that now. This one seems tighter. Hold on. Oh, is it? I need to adjust it. I like this one too. This is just on the days when I don't feel like doing nothing. One size fit all, one size fits all. I guess they just made go oh, because maybe because of the different materials. But that's what I got from Home Goods. After I went to Home Goods, I went to um I went out to eat, so I went to Pluckers <laughs> and I had myself a little that's why I sounds like I'm gonna go everywhere I love to go. I love me some pluckers. I'm gonna go all places I like to go and just be free. So that's what I'm gonna be. So I went to Pluckers, it was good. I had me a little drink, a little margarita, and then after Pluckers I came back over here and I went to Walmart. So I got a lot of stuff from Walmart. Um, I decided to do the boys bathroom baby shark. So we got baby shark 
I mean, it was just there. I was like, oh, that's perfect. Baby shark. Let's go with that. So their bathroom is going to be baby shark. You got the baby shark bath, uh, trash can, the baby shark mat. And this one is a nice stick foam. And then I got this. Oh, I'll, after Walmart, I went to Target. Oh, so this is from Target because they had some stuff at Walmart and then they had stuff. No, this is from Walmart. I got a step stool. It's from Target. Okay, this is from Walmart. Never mind. Scratch that. This is from Walmart too. I got this dish drying rack since my dish washer. Who knows when it's gonna be fixed? It better be fixed promptly. But I just got that for the meantime. And then I got them this shower curtain, baby shark shower curtain from Walmart as well. Oh, I forgot a, a step. I forgot to stop. I also went to Best Buy y'all and I got my ring doorbell. So I got the, the $99 one. I was asking a guy what was the difference in this one and the one that was like 175 And he was like, the other one has longer range and you can get motion detected from far away. The way that my apartment is set up, like the, on, I, the only way to even get motion detected is if you right in front of my apartment. So I don't think I need all that. Um, so... Yes, I got my ring doorbell. All right, so I got this big old bag from Ikea. Um, Walmart, my Walmart trip, they're always so random because Walmart has a little bit of everything. Y'all know I have a problem. I have a problem with buying these kids things. It's a real problem. So I bought them both some more pajamas. Some more pajamas. And um, I bought some, these are pajamas for Travel. They didn't have them in Terrell size. And I thought it was such a cute little face. Catching some Z's. And he liked uh, sports. I don't know if he necessarily likes football, football, but whatever. I got this shower liner for their uh, shower curtain. Uh, I got these pants for Terrell. Little uh, joggers. I got um, some Clorox disinfectant cleaner so I can start cleaning up this apartment. Um, I need to start wiping everything down. I got this uh, Snuggle Fabric Softener. It smells really good. I don't think I've ever tried it. I think I I know I've tried Snuggle, but I don't think I've tried this one. But it smells really good. It's called Lilies in Linen. I've never smelled it on clothes, obviously, but when I opened it, it smelled good. And um, this is my new favorite type of scrub, y'all. I used to just get like the regular blue kind of like scrubs but this scrub daddy i use this i've been using um i just start i just bought one a little while ago and i love it it's like it's just really good it's i don't know and you can put it in dishwasher you can reuse it it doesn't go bad like the other ones it lasts longer so even though it's more expensive this is more expensive for a reason it lasts longer i like it um, and then I got a uh, water filter called cartridges cartridges for my uh, Keurig so we're gonna have a fresh um, filter so this is what I got the shower curtain I got for my bathroom I just got like this white shower curtain and it has like these little pom-poms on them um, I think I'm just gonna do white and black so the shower curtain is white oh and I got these little washcloths 18 pack but i think i'm just going to use them for like dish cloths and uh cleaning around the house and stuff and um i got this bathroom set uh one is a plunger and it's a uh toilet bowl cleaner ain't reason why i went to walmart y'all is because i need toilet tissue i got some toilet tissue <laughs> along with a whole bunch of other stuff and i also got some um napkins i mean some uh paper towels i didn't get that much because i i usually get my stuff from sam's but it was closed by the time i was over there and i needed toilet tissue <laughs> for tonight and um i got this kitchen set just like some towels and mittens and stuff oh and i got a oh i, I got this shirt for both boys this shirt right here it says see you later after alligator i think it's cute I think it's cute. And then I got Terrell some more training pants. Had to re-up on some underwear for my baby. This is a step stool that I got from Target. So it's like the same. And it goes with the theme. Step stool I got from Target for when Terrell goes to the potty.
This is the rug that I got for my bathroom from Walmart. It feels really soft. I like the pattern. So I think I'm gonna do black and white. Oh, I got this from Target for the boys' bathroom. This is a pebble tub mat because they're always slipping. <laughs> Cause they like to just get up and stand up and play and they always slip, especially Travello stuff. So I got this so I can have a little grip to it. Have a little grip. Oh, I went to my P.O. box the other day. Remember when I went to my P.O. box? I didn't show y'all what I got, so I didn't even open it yet. It is from Joy Rodriguez. And what is it? So it says, Trove Dove, I love your content. I am new to this lip gloss game. Please enjoy my samples and let your squad know. They can find me on Instagram at Etsy, Pure Balance by Joy. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Oh my God, how long has it been? How long has it been? I'm always getting stuff late. But uh, it says Pure Balance by Joy. So she has a pink, she's in the pink lip gloss, Pure Balance. She got her logo on there. And then this is a Pure Natural lip gloss. Y'all know I'm a lip gloss girl. And then she also, oh, these lashes are pretty. She also sent over some lashes. That's what they look like. Thank you, Joy. Y'all check her out on Etsy. Oh, I sound so tired. Check her out on Etsy and I think she said Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, Etsy, Pure Balance by Joy. It's been a long day, y'all. Right now, I know it's at least 11 o'clock. No, it's probably around 10.30. But I've been up since early this morning with the moving and everything. And I've just been out shopping and just enjoying my time alone. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, tomorrow I have to go back to do another round of cleaning at the house. And then I'm going to have one day after that and then I'm going to be done with that. Oh, I do, I do a lot of editing. Goodness. I was supposed to post a video today, but that didn't happen. It was just a busy day, but I'm going to get back on track, y'all. Y'all know, because of the move and everything. <sighs> but anyway, I'm about to make my bed and take a shower. That's why I, need, I brought that sponge so I can clean out the bathtub, take a shower, and get ready to go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed today's moving vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Look, that's me getting close to the camera. That's all the energy I got for y'all. Bye.